Hi folks and welcome to another episode and today I've got our MG5. I'm back in the same place as I was two months ago and 10,000 miles ago. The car now has done uh, a year and 51,250 miles. Please remember to check out our other videos and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get notifications each time we upload another video. I just wanted to give you an update on just how it's worn. Uh, we've had a few questions from people very specific about what they want to know, how the car's wearing because they've got these in much lower mileage variants uh, and they're curious how it's gone. So I thought I'd give you another update. Okay, first of all, let's have a quick look in the front. Our Heath Robinson makeshift white box uh, is still in there. Uh, it hasn't fallen out uh, and that's been loaded with discs 51,000 miles in. Seems to be doing the job. So quite happy with that because that really was just a, a, a chuck it in and see what happened kind of effort. So nothing special. Um, people have been asking about uh, stone chips on the front. Um, we don't really have anything on the bumper um, I have subsequently reversed into this with the tow bar on the Tesla Model Y um, and there was no damage on it which is which is quite interesting. Um, I think I hit it around the front number plate area, it definitely pushed it in but there's no cracks, there's no damage and no paintwork issues. Uh, so that's quite reassuring. Um, if I close the bonnet and let's have a look around the front, we've got little chips here don't know if you can see these I can certainly see them so just there this is uh, the white paint the base there's a nice one there something's hit it um, but you've got to bear in mind the white paint is a little bit thinner than the um, the multi coat obviously it's called multi coat for a reason so this is the thinnest paint so yeah a couple of stone chips but I mean for 50,000 miles a lot of work that's not doing too bad okay another question we had uh, was on tyre wear. Let me take you around. We have had a set of tyres. Um, these have been on since 42,000 miles, so they've done 9,000. We couldn't get the original Bridgestones, so we went for these, which are called Devantes. Um, bizarrely, uh, the Devantes come with a warranty. Um, I'm not sure how they can, they can supply them at the price they did, uh, but they come with a warranty based on the amount of wear you've got on the tread. Um, even if it's accidental damage. So if you curb it, they will give you a new tire. Hopefully that's not gonna happen. Um, people have asked about the wheels. Um, we've got no lacquer failing that you see on a lot of alloy wheels on cars, um, especially when they're diamond cut. Um, this here is actually just the paste from where the new tires were put on. Um, I don't think Smith has washed it since then. Um, but yeah, so these Devantes, they're 9,000 miles in. Um, the original tires were changed on 42,000. And again, we'll probably rotate these around about the just under 30,000 mark. Um, so we're hoping 80, 85,000 miles will be two sets of tires. That would be ideal. Okay, people have also asked about the seat wear. So I'm gonna come into the passenger seat. Now I've just been sat in here um, and this seat doesn't get used, so it's not going to be worn at all, but that seat does, although they've always got seat covers on. But in terms of the structure of the, the seat, I can feel a difference between the two. So that one is definitely more worn, obviously, because it's had somebody in it for 50,000 miles and this one's had nobody in it. If you look carefully, you can probably just see that the bolster started to ease over, but that's just natural wear. But when you sit in it, it's still very comfortable. You don't feel anything like framework or anything. There's no hard bits in it. It's still very, very comfortable and very, very supportive. So that's quite reassuring. I think there probably would be more wear on the bolsters had the seat covers not been on there. But uh, yeah, we keep them on just for cleanliness and things like that. Somebody also asked me about the floor mats. Now, these are MG issue floor mats. Just a quick thing here, they don't fit very well and these little poppers do tend to pop off. This one's not been used, so it's in almost pristine condition, although a little bit dirty. And if I come around to the other side, this has got 51,000 miles of wear on it. And I mean, that's brand new and that's 51,000 miles, so. That will show you, that's done quite well uh, and well worth having these. We th These made a ma massive difference. I've got, I haven't got these, I've got a Nissan Leaf one in my car 
but yes that's uh, that's made a, a nice difference to the the interior wear of the car okay steering wheel I, I can't even say what a new steering wheel looks like um, but it's still well intact no twisting of the rubber or anything like that all the switch gears still working perfectly um, they're not loose everything's doing what it's meant to do so we're happy with that we all know about the software I mean if I try and load the navigation it doesn't normally load that quick I can tell you but um, yeah it's uh, it, it's sometimes a little bit ucky we sometimes have a black screen but I mean it's periodic and not really anything we can't live with so happy with that this tends to wear out on a lot of vehicles it hasn't worn out on ours yet but um, yeah every, everything in terms of switch gear and the way the car's worn and it's holding together is is pretty good pretty excellent in fact i'd say um hence why a lot of people are using them as taxis we service a fleet of these now uh taxi drivers up in scotland and around london and they love them doors still shut and sound fine let's have a quick look in the back now this is obviously not mg stuff this is stuff that we've had fitted but all that racking it doesn't wrap well we get squeaks and stuff off it but it's still well solid the bulkhead's still really solid well in place really happy with that and then come around to the back again you've seen this before this is all loaded up ready to go back to work tomorrow uh, smith has just had a week off work um, and even with all this weight in it it still drives absolutely beautifully i'm really surprised because mine's done a, about ten thousand miles less than this um, and there's no difference there's no difference even with this waiting I don't get in and think oh this is a different car there's really nothing between them so from that perspective we're we're really 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 happy um, now you may remember we said that we were going to get rid of this 80,000 miles and then get a new version um, that's not going to happen now we're just going to keep hold of it uh, however we will be buying a new one of these in the very near future for another technician um, and that will very likely be the facelift model so we'll be able to tell you if there's any difference there and um, and how it's going but so far it's looking good uh, somebody asked me about the brakes as well um, I mean I did take a wheel off on the uh, previous episode um, but you won't be able to see in there I don't think but I can see one of the brake pads and it looks about the same as it did 10,000 miles ago um, I'm gonna call it now and say that these brakes will be on here at 150,000 miles guaranteed no problems at all the regen on this vehicle is really really very good uh, and the amount of braking you need to do physically with the friction brakes is very very low uh, and that's working well that can be detrimental on a lot of evs um, the, the brake seize up based on their design but this particular design here is very good this is like an old ford caliper same setup as that where the pads can't physically seize on there's nowhere for them to get seized into because of the design where other vehicles that do have that design mainly the nissan leaf um that does have a tendency to to seize the uh, the pads um but yeah as it stands we're really really very happy we also fitted uh this uh rear view camera uh because we have the bulkhead which uh, means we lose all our, our vision from the rear uh this is also a dash cam we've got a little flick out camera here which is uh, which is pretty good which means we can uh, we can see the front and rear of the vehicle and it's recording the whole time and obviously we have a rear view mirror so that addition was was really something i should have done earlier on but this is in uh, both our vehicles now so that's good somebody also asked me about the efficiency uh, so smithy's actually turned into a very very good ev driver um, he regularly rings me up and gloats about 4.7 and 4.8 miles per kilowatt hour uh, but i had a quick check and he's not getting that he's actually getting oh let's just wait for the warnings over the last 1043 miles he's getting 4.2 miles per kilowatt hour so but it is getting colder i mean it's warm today it's 16 but as we get into the colder months i expect that to drop so they go 51,260 miles and so yeah happy with that all right folks i'm probably going to leave it there i uh, i don't really know what else to tell you about it apart from we've had zero problems with the car charging it range is fantastic i'm going to overlay a picture now of the battery state of health uh, a lot of people asked for it in my last video and i forgot to put it in so i will put that in now uh, so 51,250 miles and this is how it's looking 
that is very, very, very good. Generally, lithium ion, as a rule, will drop about 5% in the first year, and we haven't even seen that on this, so we are well happy. But yes, as a vehicle, pound for pound, this, uh, it just can't be beaten. If I was running a Ford Focus diesel, I would have spent way more on fuel and over the initial purchase cost of buying this vehicle, including charging, whether it's home charging or charging away from home. These are fan bloody tastic. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Just a quick look. I'll see you soon for another episode. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.